bothered look at you you're downright flushed yes that is what happens when one is angry when one burns for someone who does not feel the same did the duke of hastings get too big for his britches read jean page quit bridgerton because of creative differences with shonda rhimes over his character not being the focal point of the show in season two Bridgerton star Reg Jean Page's shock departure from the hit Netflix show came after a fallout with executive producer Shonda Rhimes over creative differences. The 31-year-old actor left fans heartbroken when he revealed earlier this month that his character, the Duke of Hastings, would not be returning for the second season of the popular period drama, prompting furious speculation that Page was in the running to take over the role of James Bond. Because you are my wife. However, a source has now claimed to Page Six that Page's decision to quit Bridgerton was actually sparked by tension with Rhymes over the fact that his character was not going to be the focal point of the second season. I will never marry. I will never sign an heir. Reege is not coming back to Bridgerton because of creative differences with Shonda Rhimes and her team, a Hollywood source told the publication. That all three pigs have died. He wasn't happy with what was planned for his character for season 2, which would have kept him a player, but not the focal point of the show. Page shot to global stardom after appearing as handsome heart Rob Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings, in the first season of the show, which centered on his character's romance with leading lady Daphne Bridgerton, played by Phoebe Dynever. The Bridgerton girl is the incomparable of the season. Netflix said in the first 28 days that the show was online, Bridgerton was streamed in 82 million households, and it came as little surprise when it was renewed for a second season in January. At the time, the streaming giant revealed that the second installment of episodes would focus on Daphne's brother, Anthony Bridgerton, played by Jonathan Bailey, and his quest to find a wife, although it was initially suggested that Daphne and Simon would still feature in the show, just not in leading roles. Sit down. But much to the disappointment of Paige's most dedicated fans, Bridgerton's social media accounts announced earlier this month that the actor would not be a part of it. Anyone in the category? Nah, man! Um, it, this absolutely goes out to all of you. Dear readers, the notice, written by Lady Whistledown herself, began. While all eyes turn to Lord Anthony Bridgerton's quest to find a Viscountess, we bid adieu to read Jean Page, who so triumphantly played the Duke of Hastings. We'll miss Simon's presence on screen, but he will always be a part of the Bridgerton family. Rhymes, meanwhile, added, remember, the Duke is never gone. He's just waiting to be binge-watched all over again. For a long time, I wrote a show that allowed me to make up a medical crisis every week. The news led to furious speculation about the reasons for Page's departure, with many reports suggesting that he was in line to take over from Daniel Craig as the next 007. Can not eat. Page Six's source did not mention the James Bond rumors, however, the insider did insist that Page left the show on good terms, despite his creative differences with Rhymes, who is also responsible for huge TV hits like Grey's Anatomy and Scandal. The source called out Grey's Anatomy as an example of Rhymes' determination to prioritize her shows over certain cast members, noting that if you look at all the big names who have left the ABC hit in the past, you see that, if you don't agree with Shonda, nobody is bigger than the show. My condolences, Your Grace. For your father. Very kind of you. They also noted that Page has plenty of other things on his plate, having been inundated with offers for other interesting and challenging leading roles. London season is already terribly monotonous as it is. Must your wardrobe do this? Page recently won the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actor in a Drama Series and was also nominated in the same category at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. He is smiling. <laughs> the Duke rarely smiles. Well, Page may have been uninspired by the direction of season two, the show does seem to be following the outline set out by author Julia Quinn, the writer behind the popular romance novels on which the series is based. Each book in the series follows the love story of different Bridgerton siblings, starting with Daphne and the Duke and I, book one, and moving on to Anthony and the Viscount who loved me, book two.
ensemble just through the, the rehearsal processes and the read-throughs. His character appears only briefly in Book 2, with the upcoming season focusing on Anthony, played by a returning Jonathan Bailey, and Kate, played by sex education Simone Ashley. The subsequent six books follow the love stories of Benedict, Colin, Eloise, Francesca, Hyacinth, and Gregory. In an interview with Variety this month, Paige insisted he was only ever contracted for one season of the show and indicated that Simon and Daphne's tidy happy ending was part of why he signed on in the first place. Art is no matter as long as her hand remains free. He said producers had pitched him a one-season arc with a beginning, middle, and end and asked him to give us a year. You are late. Apologies. Should we rejoin your family at that camp? I thought that's interesting, because then it felt like a limited series. I get to come in, I get to contribute my bit, and then the Bridgerton family rolls on, he said. As for the future, he added, I have nothing but excitement for Bridgerton continuing to steam train off and conquer the globe. I will never marry. I will never sign an heir. But there is also value in completing these arcs and sticking the landing, he added. Still, The Hollywood Reporter reports that Page was offered an opportunity to return as a guest star in three to five episodes of season two at a rate of $50,000 an episode, but declined for a multitude of reasons. Waiting on the only suitor of note. Page is set to star in several other upcoming projects, including the just announced Dungeons and Dragons flick with Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, and Justice Smith. He is also currently filming the Netflix movie The Gray Man, which will also star Ryan Gosling, Billy Bob Thornton, and Alfred Woodard. Sit down. That's it. <laughs> He is also a favorite to play James Bond following Craig's departure from the franchise, but only offered a vague answer when asked about it. Ah, the B-word, he told the mirror. I think that, if you are British, and you do anything of note that other people take notice of, then people will start talking about that. I think that's fairly normal, and I'm flattered to be in the category of Brits that people have noticed.